this is Vincent from EV Europe. Uh, we get a lot of questions about the chargers uh, and we want to make this video to help you a bit with solving the issues with the chargers. Um, first of all, we have two different types of chargers. We have the square one, which is the third generation of OEM chargers. And we have the latest model, which is this one. And that's the fourth generation of our OEM onboard chargers. Um, we start with the easiest one, that's the third generation, because not a lot of people know this, but it has a LED on this corner. And this LED is very helpful uh, with solving any charging issues. Uh, first step we always tell if you have any issues is check this LED. Uh, because if the LED does not blink, it often means you don't have AC power at your charger. This can either be a bad connector or it can be your charging station or whatever, but most of the time this means you don't have any AC power on the charger. Um, on the OEM4 charger, it's a bit more complex because here you don't have any LED, any indications at the outside of the charger. Um, but there's one small thing you can notice. As soon as you have AC power connected to this charger, you will hear a very light click. You have to listen very carefully, but you will hear the click. Uh, if you don't hear it, then you can also check your AC power. So now we have the AC connected and you will see the blinking LED. As you notice now, it's blinking red. The red blinking means there's no communication with the CAN bus. And that's correct because we disconnected the CAN wire just to simulate the error it will give. Uh, so the next thing you will do is you can solve your communication issue. And you see that the charger is now giving a green LED. The green constant LED means it has communication, but it's not yet charging because on charging it will start blinking only with the green LED. Uh, the next thing we normally do is we connect to the EMS BMS control panel uh, to look in the BMS uh, the status of the error. So right here we are the BMS control panel. We are looking at the main screen. That's the status general screen. That's the most important screen of the BMS. Here you can see all the data important data of the BMS. Um, but the thing we need to look at now is the CAN charger section here. Normally you should see the communication here in between the CAN bus charger, so your battery charger, and the BMS system. Um, what you see now is no values at all, and that means there's no communication to the CAN bus charger. Uh, since you've just verified that there is AC power present at the charger, it must be a wiring mistake or the charger is running at a different CAN speed. So that means it's not running at the same CAN bus speed as the BMS does. So to change this CAN speed, you go to configuration and then to the CAN bus section. Um, if you're not sure at which speed your charging is running at, you can always send us the label of the charger so we can check which CAN speed it is programmed at. So now we've verified the CAN speed and the communication wire, we do have correct communication to the charger. If you look at the CAN charger section now, you see some values here that are important to understand. So first of all, the set voltage and the set current are the voltages and the currents that are requested by the BMS and are sent to the charger. The actual voltage and the actual current are the values that the charger answers in return to the BMS system. So what you will see here now is that the BMS requests a voltage of 53 volts, a current of 10 amps, and 
the charger answers that his voltage is 49.2 and that it is charging with 0.5 amp. So why is it important to understand this data but also to find any issues during the charging? For example, if you see an actual voltage here that's zero volt or very low, that normally indicates that the DC power is not present at the charger. So it could be that some contactor has not closed or that you have made a wiring mistake at the DC side of the charger. If you don't see any current here, that could have a few reasons. It could be that, for example, your battery pack is full and the charging is finished. So then you see it here, the charging finished or the balancing stage. In balancing stage, charging is also very slow. But it could also be that your battery has a very low temperature or that your battery has a very low voltage. Or it could also be that the charging current is limited by your EV charger if you are using the charger in combination with the charging communication. So I really hope this video was helpful for you to find and to help you solve your charging issues. Um, should you have any further questions or if you need any more support, please email us at support at evr.eu. Thank you.